Hello everyone. So I finally found a method to use Cheat Engine to hack emulator games on Windows PC. And as you can see, it works quite well um, in changing the money value in this Nox emulator right here. It also works for blue stacks. I've been able to confirm that as well. However, the downside of this method is it takes a long while and it's going to take some processing power. So don't be surprised if your room gets really hot from all the CPU stress that's going on. So I'm just going to show you how it works real quick. So you're going to need Cheat Engine, of course. There's going to be a download link in the description below. And once you've installed Cheat Engine, there is a little procedure that you have to do. You have to go to edit then into settings extra and there it's very important that you enable the read slash write process memory so um, this will allow you to actually access the physical memory of your computer as a process in the applications list so what this allows you to do is actually scan your whole physical memory your whole physical memory independent of processes for a certain value okay in this case we're looking for 999 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. oh my tongue <laughs> anyways so you're gonna see the downside of this usually it's a four byte value um it could be that there's cases where it's either float or double in those cases i would say you're pretty screwed but you're just gonna have if you want to be really brave go for all okay i would say try four bytes if that doesn't work go for all values so this is going to take a long while <laughs> now and and your processor has to be pretty quick or it's going to take a long 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 time so i'm just going to skip this by canceling and by taking a cheat engine instance that has already located the actual value as you can see here um 999,999 so what you're going to want to do of course is you're going to want to spend some money or whatever in the game go back into cheat engine see which value actually changed um i already have it down here Usually they show up in red, or we can just go and look for it. Eight, nine, next scan. There it is. We got it. So now have it open twice, which is not really useful. But anyways, so now you have it down in the list below. You can just change it to whatever. Change record value. Um, we can just take it down to one, I guess, for demonstration purposes. And as you can see, it changes to one. Let's do one million. And as you can see, it changes to a million. A billion won't be possible because it's, I think it's a D word value. So it caps out. Actually, one billion might work. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, one billion works. But I think it caps out at like four billion. So I wouldn't go over four billion, else it'll spill over into the negative. And that's never what you're actually looking for. So <clears throat> so if I was, was going for nine billion, it wouldn't work. So because i know it's d word value because i actually hacked it with with game guardian as well on the actual emulator so to make things <laughs> just to demonstrate as you can see um yeah so that's how it works it works for nox for blue stacks and i'm sure for most other emulators as well what's, what's also in interesting about this is that it might work for like game boy Nint nintendo um, emulators uh, switch emulators xbox emulators playstation emulators which is extremely interesting of course the downside is yeah it takes about five to ten minutes depending on how quick your processor is so if you want to do this often uh, get a, a a very good processor i'm not even sure if cheat engine can take advantage of multiple cores but um if it could then a um, a multi-core processor um a, a new one would be uh, would be great else you just have to go for clock speed like the highest clock speed you can get anyways but that's just some nerd talk anyways guys um if you're looking for legitimate cheats and hacks and mods for your games on android or ios or any kind of uh, console or pc uh you might have noticed that the google results these days are pretty crappy i mean there's almost only scams out there especially for mobile online games 
everybody is somehow offering unlimited money in online games, which is an impossible cheat, but uh, Google doesn't seem to know, which is why you should use HackerBot.net for all your game cheating needs. You can go to HackerBot.net to find a tool that will allow you to actually scan only legitimate websites with a proven track record offering legitimate hacks for what you're looking for. So, for example, what you can do if you're looking for, um, let's say, PUBG Mobile cheats, what you need to do is go over to HackerBot Free Finder, enter uh, the name of your game, PUBG Mobile, then the platform that you're playing on, in this case, that would be Android or iOS or whatever, and then the current version of the game. If you don't know how to look up the current version of your game, there's going to be a, a tutorial in the description below. And then you can just search for it and you will find stuff like mods and script for, for example, Game Guardian or cheat tables or whatever you are looking for from legitimate websites that are actually offering hacks that work, that do not do the clickbaity thing and offering cheats that do not work. Anyways, guys, if you want to help me fight the scammers and spammers that are all over Google right now, please give this video a like, comment down below, let me know what kind of hacks you're looking for, what kind of cheats you want, and thanks you guys for watching. I hope this helps. I hope your processors are not running too hot doing this on your own emulated games, and I will see you guys next time.